Hi, my Pisces. It's Jamie Zebra 23. This reading is going to be very different. Um, I have all these cards from Dorian Virtue. Thank God I was fortunate enough to be able to get these, to purchase these. You know, I've, I've got a lot of blessings in my life, and I want to make sure that I'm sharing it appropriately with everybody as much as I can. You know, I do have a, a baby, a one-year-old, and I've got a 13-year-old special needs child who's like a one-year-old. Um, so I try to do as much as I can for everybody. You know, I'm, I'm really, you know spreading it pretty thin here but I mean this is I get true joy out of these readings out of giving these readings and I'm so excited about these cards so this reading is going to be um your but it's about you and your ex how I split it up is earth for the Pisces that's dealing with earth for the Pisces that's dealing with water for the Pisces that's dealing with air and the Pisces that's dealing with fire um I chose a card from the Dorian Virtue Romance Angels to uh, to discuss the situation um, and then um, and then a past life card that says what past life you were in with this person. This is about you and your ex, um, people who are teeter-tottering back and forth, or what, what the situation is between you and your ex. Okay, this is what we've got. For the Pisces that's dealing with Earth. This is for the Pisces that's dealing with Earth only. Sun, moon, or rising, yeah. So Earth. So the so the what's what's up? The issue that's blocking you, stopping you, creating issues are finances and career. That's the issue. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So if you're not dealing from, hearing from an Earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, this is the factor, or this could be you, Pisces, taking on that energy of Earth, meaning you want to focus on your career, your finances, and getting things together. The past life that you had was communal living with this person. Oh. Nope, you're a big boy now. You can feed yourself. No, no, no. Okay, so where's the little booklet that this goes with? I'm, no, no. I'm trying to get all of this done before the little baby wakes up, and then I can't do anything. Okay, it came with a little booklet. Um, I want to make sure that you guys um, fully understand the, um, the message. So it comes with like a, a cute little booklet that kind of really goes into detail. I know I'm going to find it. This video is going to be three hours long with me looking for things. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's right in front of my face, just like everything else. Wake up. Okay. Um, so this is what you got. Communal living is uh, is what's a... This is the past life that you had with this earth sign that you're inquiring about, or the earth sign that's on your mind, Pisces. The X. Okay, communal living. C's. Okay. This is what you've got. The lifetime significant to your question involved a communal setting, such as a... Uh, convent monastery or tribe your earthly needs for shelter clothing and food were provided for although you held a job within the community you fulfilled your responsibilities for the group and not for individual gain in your current lifetime you may feel troubled by the concept of money individual earnings savings and bills you may feel unsupported because your soul is accustomed to having community support to uh, assimilate in this lifetime, find the balance and harmony between individual and group needs, between give and take, understand how you fit into the culture and how the group can help you achieve your individual goals and aspirations and further your spiritual growth. And remember, no man or woman is an island. Okay, so pretty much what's going on here is, a, is finances. Somebody feels like, well, I can help you. Well, I can help you. I can do this. And the other person is uh, like, nope, I got to do it myself. I got to do it myself. And I feel like there's a big issue with communication with your ex. But that's what's blocking you and your ex, and that's, and it's kind of crazy how how it's synchronized because this is finances and this is also finances. So that's where the block comes in between um between Pisces and um whatever Earth sign is the ex. That's the issue. It, it was money, 100% money. Okay, now for those of you that are dealing with water, Pisces that's dealing with Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio, it's saying calling your in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring in bring you together so if you have an ex that you feel like is your soulmate that's a water sign pisces you are correct this could be their sun moon and rising yes and then the connection that you the past life connection the life that you lived with this person has to do with trees 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 this is pretty exciting though i love this i was i was like hours with my cards yesterday it was so much fun okay so this uh, card indicates that you have a special relationship to trees. In ancient times, particularly in the Celtic and Eastern European cultures, trees were considered sacred. The Druids looked to oak trees for pro prophetic information, and the ancient healers used trees and ingredients such as willow bark for medicine. Your connection to trees may have been spiritual, including the ability to receive messages in them. In some cases, these seemingly non-sentient creatures, trees are animated by real souls known as tree people. 
You may have been a, a tree person or a tree diva in this life or in a prior lifetime. This card asks you to spend more time connecting with trees for healing, knowledge, and inner peace. So, you and your if you if you are single and you're now trying to call in your soulmate, or if you were dealing with a water sign, you might if you do reconnect with this person, you might want to ask them if they want to go to the park, maybe spend more time, maybe have a picnic. Spend more time, you know, out in nature with this person because that's how you guys connect because that was your that was your soul tie. That's where you guys met. Okay, so for those of you that are dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, there's deception here in this relationship. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. That's that's the issue between you and your air sign. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's got other shit going on. Somebody's um having trust issues. Somebody um. Somebody sees you differently than how you really are or you're seeing a situation different than how it really is. So don't be upset by that. And Celtic is the, is the, is the, um, is the uh, past life that you guys lived in. Celtic, let me see. And that is for air, people who are dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And yes, this is for the month of August. Okay. C, 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 C. C. Okay, Celtic. Okay, this is the past life that you guys had together if you're dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Celtic. You drew this card because you had a significant past lifetime in the Celtic lands, and you continue to feel bonded to this culture. Perhaps you lived in or visited the Isle of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, or England. If so, you may have a sense of deja vu and be um, an Angelophile, a person who adores these cultures. You're also fascinated with uh, Stonehenge and the King Arthur's Camelot. You may have learned a lot, learned the old religion of the Celtic lands, which involves the use of healing herbs, gaining wisdom from oak, trees. You could be um, an ancient druid in, in disguise. Your connection to the elemental realm has made you love fairies, elves, and all fae. You also respect and love trees, especially oaks and willows. If you haven't already done so, schedule a visit, some visit to an ancient sacred area of the United Kingdom in Ireland. Explore their stone circles, castles, and spiritual artifacts that may trigger, trigger additional healing memories. So that's, that's the lifetime that you lived with whoever this person is. Your ex that you're no longer with or somebody that's about to leave your life in the month of August 2017. Now, okay. For those Pisces that's dealing with fire, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, you have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. There's more to this. So those of you that were dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, there's more to this situation than meets the eye. A lot of you can feel it because I'm feeling the energy. It's out of all of the elements and zodiac signs that I've just talked about, the fire is what's getting me right now. It's like overwhelming me. Okay, so there's more to this story, and there's more coming. It's not over. So if you were dealing with a fire sign that wasn't that was a um, Sagittarius Leo or Aries, they're coming back around, and you're gonna have time to do this. Baby, you guys had a baby in a past life. There was a baby. This card also signifies you as a baby. Maybe this person was, you know, your father. But I'm not picking this up. I'm picking up that you two had a baby together. But let's see what this. Uh, let's let's see what this says. That's the thing. Is that. Um, so if some of you have a have a strong feel like you want to get the, uh, get someone pregnant or you want to be pregnant by a fire sign or a fire sign wanting to get you pregnant, that's that that's that's the soul tie. You want to have the same baby that you had with them. You may have just met this person or this person may be like, okay, everyone's like, uh, that person would be like a really effed up father. Like, what the hell are you talking about? That's why you have that. It's a soul tie. Some of you have had babies with a fire sign, and then the relationship went nowhere. There was a reason why you had that baby. That was your baby in a past life. Okay. The situation you're inquiring about involves an infant on some level. Oh, no. Your unconscious mind will reveal the way in which the baby plays a role in your current life. You may have already received the answer in the form of a thought or feeling. Trust this information. As your unconscious mind will slowly and gently help you remember and release painful memories, at first you may think you're imagining this information, but as you put the... Pu Put together more pieces of the puzzle through signs and additional recollections. You'll feel confident in claiming your past lifetime. This card can speak about you as a baby in this or a previous lifetime. There may have been trauma that you suffered as a baby or that involved a baby of yours in that lifetime. It also may describe parenthood in this or previous lives. Your feelings and thoughts will guide you so that you can discern specific meanings. 
Yeah, I feel like you had a baby with somebody. That's why you either, I feel like for some of you, you could not get pregnant for a long, long time, and then bam, you had sex like once or twice with a fire sign, and you got pregnant, or that's what's coming your way. It's not over between you and this fire sign, Pisces. All right, guys, if you'd like a personal reading, check out my website. Um, I've got all sorts of stuff, uh, personal readings, same-day readings, $5, one question, one answer. All right, ta-ta.